Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's session. In today's session we are going to see one of the interesting thing about the browser. The thing which we are going to discuss or we are going to explore is nothing but the security certificate. Many of the business applications which require the more security for example a business application which involves the transactions like banking application or the application where the organization do not want anyone can access or the what are the calls they are getting to that application those calls should be accessed to the secure secure way so in that case what the organization do they use security certificates and they ask the users to install or to use a public key to access their application so in that way the end user will have the public key and the application owner or the organization will have the private keys and they will achieve the communication through this private and public key you think using those keys so example here if you try to access the Google which is HTTPS URL like HTTPS www.google.com so it is nothing but it is a secured application for now whenever we see secured application it comes with the a uh, certificate so we have to have that certificate to access that website that means in my system I have the public key to access the Google application however at Google organization and they have their own private certificate and the public certificate from my system communicates or the accesses the application by syncing with the private certificate at the Google's end Google organization end so how can I see the certificate which is installed in my system so most of the browser this support so if you want to access the certificate which is installed in your browser you will see one icon it's called as a lock icon you can go to that and you will see some information this is website identification so this is the name of the website and if you want to see the certificate we have to click view this certificate it will give us information who is issued this certificate uh, what is the actual issued by and what is the valid date so it's valid till 23rd August 2017 so eventually they will upgrade or they will have the some new updates on this browser so whenever we install that it will this validity will get increased now if you want to see what this actual certificate contains it is version v3 this is the serial number of this certificate and it has so many other information so whenever we install uh, I mean, suppose if I installing the Google uh, Chrome or Internet Explorer this by default thing comes with this certificate so each website will have their own certificate so there is not a single certificate we need to applicable for every other app secured application so each secured application will come with some default certificate certificate path so this is the path of certificate geo trust global ca google internet authority g2 and inside they will have this application to the access and the status is this certificate is okay so if this certificate is expired you will not able to access the website in this case the google is a website if i do not have a valid certificate then i will not able to access for example this means if you see this is valid from May 31st 2017 to the 23rd August 2017 if you if you go beyond this and if you do not have the valid certificate you will not able to access your application in this case it's a Google application if you want to see all you can see all if you want to see particular you can select that and you will see that particular certificate there is some more thing let me show you let me choose particular 
critical only let me select this normally if if they if you have the access to certificate which is installed in your system you have to select that uh, this is actually public key you can see so this is what I was talking about if you want to see what is the public key so this is the public key which is got installed in your system by using this public key you can access that application similarly you can use any other application and access that particular uh, certificate now so there are some certificates which actually have the control to download it for example suppose you choose uh, any particular certificate and there this button called as copy to file so you can this button will get enabled as long as if you have that access to that certificate so what you can do you can go to that particular certificate choose your certificate copy to that file once you copy that file you can save on your system and the next thing is you have to go to the internet tools internet options uh, you will see content and inside content you can see the certificate what are the certificate you have installed and from here you can use the import wizard in the import you have to specify the file where you saved your certificate click on the next and once it is uh, properly in the you whenever you properly choose that certificate it that install that certificate uh, certificate will get installed what does that mean suppose I I have the invalid certificate in my system you can get the correct certificate from the either the application owner or the authorized owner and then you can use this content utility and you can use this certificate button to install the certificate in your system so these are the some few things about the certificates like how the private key and public key works uh, works this is just a brief view to get idea where can you see your certificate of your application and how can you import and export these certificates i hope this this session might help you in bit your understanding about the security certificate in your browser thank you for watching this video and have a nice time.